In 2022, a nursing home resident suffered complete kidney failure after being given another resident's medications. He is now risking his life. In the same year, a woman was scheduled for surgery because her infected kidney needed to be removed. What they removed instead was her spleen. She is now battling with the consequences of living without a spleen. In 2019, a surgeon was tasked with removing a kidney from a patient. And he did. Only it was the wrong patient. In 2018, a woman was scheduled for back pain surgery. The doctor, however, mistakenly removed one of her perfectly functioning kidneys. To add insult to injury, the doctor that removed the kidney wasn't even the one tasked with performing the back surgery. And these are just some examples of medical errors that could put your kidneys in danger. Here, I've been helping kidney disease patients take control of their health for more than a decade now. And today, a very shocking fact caught my eye. According to studies, mistakes made by healthcare professionals are more likely to cause loss of life than kidney disease. Yes, this sounds incredible, I know, but it's true as we can see here. Recent studies have estimated medical errors may account for as many as 251,000 people passing away annually in the United States. On the other hand, the people that passed away in 2021 due to kidney disease were around 54,000. So, while 54,000 people lose their lives due to CKD each year, 251,000 people lose their lives due to medical errors, which is frightening, I know. Now guys, I haven't made this video to scare you. I have made this video to help you identify and avoid the most common medical errors, alright? Yes, the good news here is that since most commonly medical errors happen during prescribing, not during surgery, you as the patient can protect yourself from them as long as you know what they are. And guys, if you think this info is important, give this video a like and also consider sharing it with a friend. There are six medical errors that are especially common and dangerous for people with kidney disease. I ranked them in the top six from less to most dangerous. Time now to see what they are. Starting with number six, overprescription. Now, overprescription happens when a doctor gives a patient more medicine than they actually need. And this is a very common medical error, especially if we talk about antibiotics or pain relief medications. The reason why this is so common is because in most cases, this is not very dangerous, at least for the general population. The risk here is especially for people with kidney disease. You see, both prescription and over-the-counter medications are filtered by the kidneys. This means that they may build up in the body, causing more side effects and damaging the kidneys. But how can you make sure that your doctor is not prescribing you too much? Well, first of all, you need to know which medications can be especially dangerous for you. And I'm talking about antibiotics, NSAIDs, and proton pump inhibitors. If you get prescribed one of these, be very careful, alright? For most people, these are safe. But if you have kidney disease, they are not. For example, prescribing an antibiotic course to a kidney patient comes with several challenges that a doctor should be aware of. Kidney damage is almost always a side effect of antibiotics and a doctor needs to be very careful when finding the right antibiotic in the right course. Always make sure your doctor knows very well that you have kidney disease. Same for proton pump inhibitors, PPIs in short. Those are used to treat acid reflux and heartburn and they are very dangerous for the kidneys. Some names are Prilosec, Asifex, Nexium and others. 
they have been shown to raise the risk for kidney disease if taken for extended periods of time. If you need to take them regularly, ask your doctor if you can switch to H2 blockers like Zantac or Pepsid as they are less likely to damage the kidneys. And SAIDs are even more dangerous especially for patients that have to take them for extended periods of time. Ibuprofen, Nafrex and aspirin and many others will damage your kidneys. Avoid them if you can. Usually, Tylenol or Paracetamol or Acetaminophen is considered safer for people with CKD, but you should be very careful with that one too. In short, make sure you know everything about what your doctor is prescribing you. Ask questions and double check that everything you take is safe for you. This is the only way you can prevent being victim of overprescribing. Up next, the medical error that's not as common as overprescribing, but that can be more dangerous. Number five, using the wrong diagnostic tests. Sometimes the doctor doesn't know why a patient's levels keep bouncing up and down and what they do is start ordering tests. Medical tests are not something you should be afraid of, but there is a hidden danger here. I have seen too many people that were on stage 3 of chronic kidney disease and they have been pushed to stage 5 because they took a contrast during a test. And yes, I know their doctors should have known better, but this can happen. So how, how can you avoid being victim of a wrongly prescribed diagnostic test? Well, the only way is by knowing what tests are dangerous for you. And if you have kidney disease, what you should be very careful with are scans with intravenous contrast, all right? So for example, MRIs or angiograms, like a cardiac angiogram, when they inject dyes into your vein, in your hand or arm. Yes, these tests are very dangerous for your kidneys. And yes, the doctors prescribing a test like this should be aware if the patient has kidney problems. Now, these tests are routinely used. They are being done every day on millions of people because they provide information that can be helpful for a correct diagnosis. The problem with these dyes is that they can both lead to kidney problems and cause problems in patients with kidney disease. So especially if you have kidney problems, talk to the doctor ordering the diagnostic test and make sure they know very well what your GFR and creatinine numbers are, all right? Make sure that they know these tests can be dangerous for you so they can lower the contrast amount or avoid it altogether if possible. And also take precautions if the contrast cannot be avoided. Hydration is key here in order to protect the kidneys. Water can help detoxifying your kidneys from the dangerous substances present in the contrast. So if there is a scan with intravenous contrast, you can't avoid doing, drink plenty of water before doing it. A gallon of water the day you do the test, another gallon when you have done the test. The sooner you flush out the substances, the better. In short, avoid scans with contrast as much as you can, but if you can't, talk to your healthcare provider and take precautions. Number four. What can be even worse than a diagnostic test that looks safe, but that is not? Well, misprescribing. This is a very serious danger. Let's take a look at one of the cases I've mentioned in the intro. In 2022, to a nursing home resident suffered a heart attack and complete kidney failure after being given another resident's medications. This all happened because a nurse did not check to make sure the nursing home was sending the resident home with the correct prescription drugs. So the man was cognitively impaired, went home with another patient's medications and he took them for a week. He ended up with serious symptoms of kidney failure and a heart attack. He was then brought to the emergency room where he had to be intubated and resuscitated. We don't know if he ever recovered from this. Now, giving a patient the wrong medication is a very serious medical error, but it is unfortunately more common than people think. This is a very serious danger. Report says that one of every nine medical malpractice cases is related to a wrong prescription type of error. Even worse, 
38% of these errors are fatal compared to 18% of the rest of medical malpractice. So very dangerous and very common, unfortunately. And I know very well that a cognitively impaired nursing home resident is never going to be able to defend himself from this kind of risk. But you are. So how can you make sure that you will never be a victim of misprescribing? Well, you have to be knowledgeable about your own health. You have to be an expert on yourself. The way you achieve this is by being passionate about health topics and by learning more every day, just like you are doing right now. And obviously, every time a new medication is prescribed to you, ask questions. Talk to your doctor, ask why do I need this? What side effects am I risking? And also double check on Google, all right? Do your own research. This is also going to be important in order to avoid the next danger. Number three is drug interactions. This is one of the biggest risks for people with kidney disease. This happens when two or more prescriptions are taken together and they affect the way each other works. Obviously, this is especially dangerous for those patients that need to take multiple pills a day. Drug interactions represent probably the fastest way in which someone could go from healthy kidneys to kidney failure. The combination of NSAIDs, diuretics, and ACE inhibitors is the perfect example of this danger. They are relatively safe if taken alone, well, except for NSAIDs, but when mixed together, they can send you straight to the emergency room. This is called the triple whammy and it's incredibly dangerous. And yeah, your doctor, your pharmacist are supposed to double check and make sure that what you take is safe. But unfortunately, mistakes happen and you need to be prepared. So how can you make sure you are not risking being victim of drug interactions? Every time you receive a new prescription, both you and your doctor should double check that none of the medications you already take interacts with it. So. You get the prescription, you go home, and you do a Google search. Search for your prescription possible interactions on Google. Make sure nothing you take is listed. Also, something I always recommend is to write down or print a list of all the medications you already take. If you have a list with you, your doctor and your pharmacist will be able to check any new prescription against that list. Yeah, I know, your doctor is supposed to do this for you. But what if they don't? Well, one of the worst things that can happen is that number two, you stop trusting your doctor. Guys, I know that this is a video about medical errors, but you must keep in mind that the vast majority of what doctors do actually works, right? Doctors know what they are doing, but they cannot do their job if you don't trust them. Not doing what your doctor tells you is a sure way to end up with very suboptimal medical care. I'm telling you this because I have received comments of people asking me to double check for them if their doctor's prescriptions were right. My doctor told me to do this, is he right? Or my doctor gave me that, should I take it? Now guys, I'm not saying that you should not ask here for info about your prescriptions, but I can only help you so much. Because you see, I don't have access to your medical records. I'm not going to conduct a physical examination. I don't even know you. Guys, have you noticed that every time I recommend a supplement or a dietary change, I always tell you to consult your doctor? Well, there is a reason for that. It's because even if some doctors are not perfect, they are way more knowledgeable about the health of their patients than most patients are. I mean, it's their job. And also your doctor is supposed to know you better than I do. But I get it. Not everyone has a doctor they know they can trust. Kidney disease is a complicated topic and not every doctor is up to date about it. If this happens to you, find a better doctor. Find a nephrologist you can trust. Find a good renal dietitian. This is one of the best advices I can give you. Now, there is something even worse than not having a doctor you can trust. The number one for today is going to be about another one of the cases of medical malpractice that made the news recently, and that costed the man his kidneys. Let's see why this is probably the most dangerous medical error. 
In 2023, a 42-year-old veteran reached a record settlement after he completely lost his kidney function due to his doctor prescribing the wrong medication. However, what caused this veteran to lose his kidney function is not the simple fact that his doctor gave him medications that were not appropriate for him. His main problem was another. His doctor never told him that he had chronic kidney disease even if his creatinine levels were too high already in 2012. So he was not diagnosed in time, he never knew he had kidney issues and this is absolutely scary. He was never told by his doctor that his kidney function was rapidly deteriorating. He was never given a fighting chance to, you know, follow a renal diet, work on his lifestyle and most probably delay dialysis by two or three decades. Now guys, I hope that none of you watching me right now is making this mistake. I see a lot of people, especially here on YouTube, being obsessed with the symptoms of kidney disease. They're really concerned with the bubble in their urines or maybe the back pain they're having. Is this just back pain or is this a problem with my kidneys? Now, what I always tell people here is if you have any doubt, get checked. With kidney issues, when the symptoms show up, it means the disease is already advanced. So get checked and learn how to read your blood tests. This could literally save your life. And guys, if you want to learn more about some of the hidden dangers of kidney disease, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.